Hello everyone, this is going to have to be another quick video. Unfortunately, I have a lot to do and it's piling on apparently. But uh, I am done with re the recording for the Duna Colony. So that's that's hopefully going to, I'm going to hopefully finish editing that and put it out there for tomorrow morning. But I just want to thank you all for your patience on that one. Um, a lot of interesting things happened on the Duna Colony. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But uh, yeah, I had to. I had to really think outside the box in a few, in a few things. Um, plus, uh, I was so tired that I accidentally, uh, well, messed up on a few things. <laughs> anyway, um, so in this video, I decided to kind of reenact the Red Bull. I think it was Red Bull, or the high altitude jump. Um, the only way you can, they, they don't have wind in the stock game, of course, and there's no such thing as buoyancy in the stock game. Unless you're, of course, in water, in which case buoyancy is so, this weird magical kraken thing. But for the atmosphere, not so much. In other words, there's, there, there aren't any balloons. In order to make balloons in the stock game, you have to use a type of kraken drive, which basically consists of two docking ports almost touching one another, one set on 200% attraction and one set to 0% attraction. This of course gives you a type of forward momentum, which in this case I can use as a type of lift. Things that are going on right now, um, well I've been recording some gameplay of Satisfactory. I know some of you might get excited about that. I'm going to be recording some more gameplay of Fallout 4. And yes, I am actually looking at redoing uh, some of the Spore videos. I say redoing because I went back to my Spore save not about a day or two ago and it had deleted most of my progress. I'm not sure what happened. Spore is this really weird game. There's no auto save. So if you don't save while you exit the game, you're screwed. And if there is an auto save, someone please help me because I've never been able to find it. Or if there is an auto save, but it saves like it saves like so seldomly, like every two or three hours. But anyway, long story short, uh, that means I'm gonna have to redesign the uh, what did I call them? The Draconians or something like that. I'm gonna have to redesign all that. Great. It actually, took a long time. But yeah, these videos that are not KSP, of course, will come out in the evenings, maybe right around 5:30 or so Eastern Standard Time. But KSP itself will come out in the mornings. This one came out in the noon time like yesterday's because of the fact that I'm just so swamped right now. Hopefully I can get some time and get my schedule back into shape. It's been a little whack. As a matter of fact, I'm about to call up these people and see if they can't fix my windshield. It's got a nick in it. Somebody was following too close behind a truck apparently. So I really hope that's not going to cost me an arm and a leg. It's just a little, little tink, but we'll see. I'm trying to get it fixed before it gets really cold so it doesn't turn into a really big crack across the windshield. A cracking, a cracking across the windshield. That would be a bad day. Some of you have asked about uh, building other vehicles from like other sci-fi stuff like Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, The Expanse. So we'll see. I'm not sure about KSP or the future of KSP unless KSP 2 comes out. Because right now even Matt Lone has almost dropped KSP completely. He does what, what Marcus House does now, which is space news. Although Marcus House has been doing space news for a while, where he reports on SpaceX, NASA, ESA, and all their good stuff. What's going on? I watch Marcus House. I've been watching Marcus House for a very long time now. So when I saw Matt Lone start copying him, I'm like, oh, KSP must not be the shiz anymore. And yes, for someone who I know is going to probably ask me in the comments below, I did watch what whatever his name was, something rather pants, the frog head guy. And yeah, I've seen him since uh, since he came out. His videos are all right. So that's what I'm going to be pushing for is uh, different games in the evening and uh, just keep it KSP in the mornings. Because I know a lot of you who are uh, subscribed are for the KSP. And that's cool. I like KSP. KSP is a labor of love, even with all the bugs and everything while I drive your freaking crazy and pull your out but anyway so eventually i do get this girl into uh well a very <laughs> high altitude for sure and she does the high altitude jump yep she sure does but unlike our unlike in our reality some things kind of uh went wrong but anyway thank you so much for being 
very supportive of this channel. Hopefully I can get out of this little subscriber stuck in the mud thing that my channel is experiencing right now. It like took off in the first few couple of months and then it slowed way back down to like molasses again. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm baffled how that works or how the YouTube algorithm works, but I'm trying. I'm not going to give up. So if you like what you saw, consider liking. If you really like what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload as much as I can almost every day. Thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for watching. Love you all and take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.